Hey everyone, Ronnie Rowe back here again this week for another uh, YouTube video of Ronnie Rowe Designs. These uh, every week I do one of these, talk about various things. Probably most part about uh, cross stitch designs, designs I've done, uh, how I got started, everything about designs. But anyway, um, welcome back. Hope everyone had a great week since we talked last. I was going to do this video last night, but I got watching basketball. It's that time of year, March Madness. And so uh, it got into it, a uh, game I was watching last night. And so I uh, didn't make the video, waited till the night. Uh, it's <laughs> I don't know why, because basketball is on tonight, too. So, but anyway, uh, I wanted to make this video. Hope everybody had a great week and a safe week. Uh, I got my cheat sheet with me. I need that every week. So I'll remember some of what I'm supposed to be doing and talking about. Hey, today, I had a great experience today. I went to the dermatology and I got the guy, nice young man who's in the Navy who is a, derm a medical doctor in dermatology. He does it part-time at one of our local uh, uh, clinics. And uh, I got that spray stuff. You know, the cold stuff? I love that. Isn't that, isn't that fun to get that to do? They always tell you, you got all these little precancerous lesions on you and we need to spray them. I think they do that to everyone because every time they go, psh, psh, they get paid for that. So, but anyway... Did that today. That I'm gonna do that again in six months, thank God. Uh, but anyway, didn't have that happen today. What else? I ain't got anything to do a cross stitch. But anyway, um, had a good week. Oh, before I do anything else, thank you for coming back. Hit the little subscribe button. Uh, that will help me out a whole lot. I really do appreciate, it. and I appreciate all you folks who have subscribed to this channel. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um. What else is on there? One thing I got a question. I like to know, what can I do to improve this? You know, I ask to improve this 15, 20 minute thing we do every week. And I like to, some suggestions that you think I should do. I've tried, I showed you one of my earlier ones about framing some designs. I showed you how I did that. I showed you how I go through the process. I can do some more of that probably. But if there's anything else that you'd like to see, send me a note. Put a little note down there. Hey, how about doing this, doing that? How about uh, anything? So please let me know if there's anything I can do to improve this. Um, one thing somebody asked me, after doing cross-stitch for 43 years, how much materials do you have? Um, I've got a lot. i probably got more materials than shops have. And uh, if you look, Look, look over there at those big bolts. That's bolts of fabric. I, I used to order this stuff 100, I guess it was 56 inch, 96, I don't know how long, wide it was, but 100 yards of this stuff. 100 yards, a football field. I get, because we were making kits and everything, cutting this stuff, putting it all together, putting DMC floss in and uh, sending kits out. But uh, anyway, I got, a lot of that. As far as uh, DMC uh, <laughs> floss I have, when I first got started, I swore I wasn't going to show anybody this, but I'm going to. This is the way I filed my DMC floss for a long time. As you can see, I had a little numbering system on the side that go through. There's one of them. And the, the top of this one has come off, as you can tell. But this book here, there's there's another color. There's the other section. All of this is DMC colors. This is all floss that I have in my possession uh, that I used to categorize and put it in books. Uh, now what I do, put it in bags, bag after bag. And I've got container after container after container chock full of this. Like that's 900, I don't know what this one is, 700, all of them 700s, and I got more of these and everything. But I've got a tremendous amount of materials that I have. Um, needles, I've got needles galore. I used to order needles from Krennic uh, Manufacturing to put in kits. I put the little needle along with the, the material for the kit. So, but anyway, got a lot of materials right now. 
Um, who was my inspiration? Who, when I first got started, who, who inspired me to do that? Uh, that's an easy one. There was a lady named Judith Sandy. Judith Sandy um, was doing cross stitch a long, long time ago, and she did buildings and barns, and which I really gravitated to at the time, and she did an excellent job on those. So Judith Sandy was really an inspiration to me. Um, getting started in cross stitch. So anyway, that's, um, uh, do I turn down any orders? When I do these special orders for folks, and you're going to see one here shortly, um, do I turn any down? And the answer is yes, I do. Because um, what I do with my special orders that I do, if somebody wants something done, is um, I get them to send me a picture or several pictures or what, and I take a look at the picture and figure out if I can do something with it. Uh, a lot of folks have sent me pictures before and they want something done and you really can't make out who's in the picture or what exactly it is. They've got a picture of a loved one, a pet or whatever, and it's so far away that I can't get any detail. And so, uh, no, I, I, I can't do anything with that. But anyway, uh, but I do accept pictures and I'm still doing that, uh, especially orders now. And I'll show you a new uh, one I've done here uh, very shortly. Um, how much longer am I going to do this? I don't know. Um, I have no idea. I've given it, I have given it some thought because people have asked me, so, you know, and you've been doing it a long time. How, how much longer are you? And I guess as long as I enjoy this and it's, uh, I don't look at it as a job or work. Uh, so as long as that, it keeps me busy and something to do. Um, I'll continue on. The one thing that I do do that I don't know how many other designers do this. I don't know. This is the one thing that I do in my life I have to think about. I have to really sit down and think and plan out these things. And so I guess that's good for my mind. I go swim. I told you I go swimming in the morning. I don't take any thought. I sit around with my old friends, my buddies, and we talk about everything from sports to politics to you name it. That doesn't take any thought. You sit around and drink coffee and eat donuts after we swim to get, you know, to lose weight and get healthy. We sit around and drink coffee and eat donuts. <laughs> That's a no-brainer. You have to think about that. But cross-stitch is the one thing I do have to think about. Um, okay, so those were some questions I got this week. Uh, what have I been doing this week? This week, I've been working on a pattern for Ashley. Ashley is a lady who uh, commissioned me to do... Um, two uh, African dogs. And so uh, I've done that and I'll show that to you again in a minute. But first, what have I been doing for myself or my designs? I've been stitching morning light and I need to show you where morning light is. Again, on the board, I haven't been framed or anything. Uh, where we are in morning light, we are right here. We're coming along with the rocks. You can see how that's coming along right now. Um, I've got a ways to go. I've got, you know, about halfway here and it's not much down the bottom of this so uh, i'm getting there right now one thing i really like about this design is the perspective this thing really shows you some perspective of a design so i i'm i'm really i'm really liking that and i'm liking the fog on the mountain and the colors and all of the pier the way the things come together so i i think this is a this this has been a a real, it was a real challenge to put this together, but it's it's coming along nicely now, and so I think you can now see some of the rocks which I was talking about, how the shoreline, what I'm gonna put in. So, but anyway, that's where I am. Um, probably a month, let's say, three weeks, four weeks. That's a month, but um, that's probably how much longer it's going to take me. So, there we are on morning light. So that's coming along well. Uh, the other thing, time out. It's not morning light, it's Blue Haven. When I say these things, what happens to you when you get old? The design is Blue Haven, not morning light. Morning light was a while back. Come on, Ronnie, get your the act thing together. I did this week was the uh, African dogs. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to click down here and I'm going to share a screen with you. And this is a keynote presentation that I make up of this. And... This keynote presentation, um, it's the same thing as PowerPoint. 
if you if you're familiar with a uh, a PC and PowerPoint, this is for Macintosh. It's uh, Keynote. It's it's basically the same type of program. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share the screen with you right now. And what you ought to be able to see at this point in time are these two dogs. And let me get this blown up here. Uh, let's try 200. Okay. This is the original picture that Ashley sent me of the two dogs that she was interested in. She got this picture somewhere and she went and bought the... Uh, the rights to use this picture and make it into another design. Uh, what I, when I looked at this picture, the dogs were easy. The one on the right-hand side was faded, so I knew I had to do something with that, and also the background. The, the background had to go. We had to do something with that. So, but we did take the, the dogs and move them a little bit, and uh, what we came up with is that is the cover sheet that Ashley is going to get. And the name of this thing, and I'm not pronouncing this right, is La Canyon de Psychus Pair. I know I mispronounced that. And so um, anybody out there that knows better than I do on that, please uh, let me know my pronunciation. But that is, and what does that mean? That means, literally means painted or ornamented wolf. The fur appears to be painted with browns, red, yellows, and white areas. And you can see that in here, what we did. And what I did with this picture is I went through, and uh, let me zoom in on that a little bit better. So, And so what I did with this picture, I went in and took all the background away and redid the dogs and had them stand in front and got a tree that is native to Africa in that area and put straw at their feet and, and kind of gave, put the dogs in the forefront, if you will. And when all of this came together, this made a, made a pretty good picture, a pretty good uh, cross-stitch design. And uh, uh, again, I hope, I hope very much that Ashley is going to be very, very happy with this. Uh, that's the cover. And then we go through sheet number one and... I'm going to sheet number two, three, two and three and so forth. And the numbers again, like I do all my charts are from the top, across the top and one through eight. And so this particular, this particular design right here, we're having one through seven and one through eight. And the reason we did that is because this is 350 by if I go down to my last one, 350 by 240 squares, that is the size of this, um, this uh, design. And so I needed something in order to get each individual sheet. I needed something going to 350 and 24, which I originally made this design to fit that. And seven went in there, went into the 350, obviously five times. So we had five sheets across the top sheet one two three four and five ended up with 35 right here and then the next sheet would which would start up here would be one with sheet nine ten eleven through sixteen so uh that's the way i do all of my um, designs i've been doing it like that for a long time um it works for me it works for, it seems to work for a lot of folks um so if you make a comment you put in there the things i can change um, I'm probably not going to change this, but that's the way uh, it all comes together for me. And I showed you last week how I put all this together, how I go from a graphics um, program and put that in a keynote and size everything down. So that's that's uh, exactly what I did with this design. Also, uh, the last sheet of the design got the name. Uh, and I put across the top right is an original cross stitch design created by Ronnie Rowe for the lady Ashley. Uh, the design captures two of Africa's most magnificent animals. And I give you the DMC colors along with the sheet design, the layout, the 350 by the 240. And the actual design itself measures uh, 347 by 232. Both those numbers are very close to the 350 and the 240 when it came out that way. So anyway, this is a design that I have given, I'll be sending to Ashley and it's finished all up. 
Um, what I'll do is I'll give her a, uh, uh, what I'll do is I'll give her a PDF file along with a hard copy. I will send her of this design, have everything all printed up. So anyway, that is African, uh, the African dogs that I put together for her. Uh, I enjoyed it a whole lot. That was a lot of fun to do this. It was, was for me to take that picture and do what I could with it and to complete the design. Um, <clears throat> okay, moving on. New works. What are my new works? I told you about the uh, what I wanted to come up with something with the Broadway, the opera, or something like that. Well, I've got all that pretty much laid out what I want to do. I think I know what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm not going to show anybody yet, but I, I I got a pretty good idea on that, and it's it's different. This is this this is going to be different. This is if you looked at my stuff with what I showed you, the wolves, the Blue Haven, uh, the ships, the colonial buildings, the musical instruments, all that. What I'm doing with this is a little is a little off. It's 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 it's, it's it's different. You, know, you wouldn't you wouldn't recognize this as Ronnie Road designs, really. But it's something I like, and it jumped out at me, and so and I've I've enjoyed putting it together. I haven't finished putting it together, but I'm I'm working on it right now. So um, that is what I'm doing. Uh, what else? Oh, oh, excited! One thing I learned this week: I was working on this new design. The opera, the thing I was telling just telling you about. And I learned a new thing of masking, masking using Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo, and another program, the graphics program. And masking is a is a is a is a process by now. I just I just learned this. I don't know why I just learned this. I should I should have known it more, but uh, before, but I but I didn't. Um, but it's a it's a process where I can you take a picture like uh, the dog picture and everything, and I can put a mask on that picture, and I can take and paint and do different things and move different shapes around of that picture with this mask, and take that mask and make that as a sub mask to the original picture and mask that on top of it. And I can change a lot of different things. And so that that was really cool. I learned how to do that this weekend. Um, I don't know who else knows. I'm sure somebody knows how to do that because they, the people built the programs and other people because, I mean, I'm not the sharpest pencil in the world. So, I mean, so it's, I know other people know how to do that. What's going on with my shirt? I was trying to look good. Oh, yeah, I was cool. You know, I didn't know what to put on. You know, my wife telling me, she, you know, maybe I ought to wear a coat and tie. <laughs> well, maybe I won't. But anyway, um, so anyway, maybe I don't look, maybe I ought to do something better. I don't know. Maybe I ought to put some hair up here. There are, there are various things that you can. I mean, there are various things that you can do uh, to make yourself look better, I guess. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure that what what they are. Maybe I can put myself some sunglasses on. Uh, maybe I can do that. I don't know. Or maybe uh, I got a little hat. Maybe would that make me look good? Yeah, probably not. That's probably not gonna not gonna help me at all. But anyway, um, but I guess there's other things. Oh, I know what I can do. I can really be a pirate if you want me to. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that either. So, um, I guess what you get is what you get. So. Anyway, uh, the other news is on my SD site, I have put out new designs. The butterfly, the one we've talked about that I sent out to Nashville, butterfly along with morning light, fractured sports, and blue haven are on my SD site right now. I put the uploaded those this past week. Uh, since Nashville is over with and the shops have those, I've sent those off to distributors. So I've got those on my site, and if you want to go take a look at those, you, I like for you to. Would I like for you to purchase them? Yeah, heck yeah. But it's up to you. But I, but they are out there right now. Um, that's about it for this week. I don't know what else is going on. I'm going to be working on uh, doing some more masking. I'm going to work with that this week. Try some different figures and things I'm doing. Um, I'm going to continue on with Blue Haven. That's uh, an ongoing project, and we ought to be finishing that up shortly. Again, if any of you out there um, 
would like for me to do something, a custom work, like we did the uh, uh, rugby player for the lady in England, Heather in England, and uh, Ashley, the uh, dogs that she wanted to do. Uh, feel free to send me a send me a photo, and I'll be happy to look at it. It's no cost to you whatsoever for me to look at it and do a preliminary work for you, uh, work it all up, work with you on it. And uh, remember, when you get this design, this, when it's finished, the PDF file, the original design, it's yours. You can do with it what you want to. If you want to put it out and market it and sell it, that's fine with me. If you want to give it away, that matter of fact, the uh, ask. Uh, Ashley sent me a really nice note and told me that uh, the dogs, it'd be nice to give that away to people and everything. And so, and, and if she wants to do that, that's fine. That's that's perfectly fine. And it's it's her design because when I do a custom work, it is for you. It's not for me, it's for you. And so, anyway, we'll leave it at that. And until next week, like I tell you every week when we leave, I uh, hope you have a great week. I hope the weather doesn't get you too bad. And the number one thing I want you to do this week, like every other week, stay safe. Thank you and see you soon. Bye-bye.